What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my on-the-go musky box. So basically in here is what I keep any of the stuff that I really use a lot when musky fishing. And the reason for that is I don't fish a lot of muskies out of my own boat. Anytime I go, I typically go with other people, unless I'm like in Canada. So what I like to do is keep a little box here of the stuff that I actually use a lot. That way I don't have to lug around like three giant musky boxes. I can just take this one box and it has basically everything that I'll want to use in it. So let's get right into it. But before we do, make sure to hit subscribe below if you wanna see more tips like this. All right, so on the inside of this, basically what this is is a Plano tackle tray. I believe this is like the 3731 size. If that's not correct, I'll put it right here so you guys can know for sure. In the inside, basically I just keep a little variety of baits. So I'll keep like two topwater baits, maybe like three bucktails, two plastics, stuff like that. And kind of being able to cover all of the situations that I want to use and baits that I'm just comfortable with. So first for the top water I guess we'll start out with I've got a little walking bait here this is a black and orange color not sure the name on this one if you guys know let me know below it's basically just a simple simple top water bait walking bait that is and then the next top water bait that we have is going to be a flap tail so this is a Lee Lures flap tail as you can see the hooks pop out here there you go, it just sits on top of the water, creeps along and has this tail flapping in the water, hence the name flap tail. And that's a really cool color. Uh, you can see these both have like an orange bottom or chartreuse on this one, but I've got like a black kind of profile and a white kind of profile to kind of cover the different conditions of the sun and clouds. Then for crankbaits, what we've got is, I've got somewhere here, a grandma this is like a fire tiger grandma and this is gonna be eight or nine inches and this is a good one that i like to troll with i don't really fish crankbaits too much for musky casting but it's a good little trolling bait and it's kind of a size that you'll catch a bunch of pike as well as muskies on and in that same bait we've got just a different color this is like a gold black back nice little natural walleye imitation to go with that perch so we've got kind of two different profiles and these ones as you can see have a lot of flash in them which is kind of cool when the sun is out but if you don't want that another one i've got here is a custom x this is the five inch mini and here we go it's a nice little smaller bait. This is the one, if I'm gonna cast a crankbait for muskies, this is pretty much the go-to one for me. It's in like a nice black and orange color. Just a really easy bait to throw. You can just straight retrieve it or twitch it. And we've caught some big, big pike on these in Canada, as well as they've produced a lot of muskies. Now the last hard bait that we have is gonna be a glide bait. This is actually a Narcan. This is the seven inch, and this is a really sweet, sweet walleye color. Uh, it's got the little soft plastic tail on the back, and this is just gonna have a crazy like twitching action in the water going all different kind of directions. This one takes a little bit more work to fish, but it's still a really cool water, in, cool bait in the water. Then, I guess what we'll do next is soft plastic, since I got one in my hand. This first one is going to be a Poseidon. Now the cool thing about this one is you can cover a lot of different depths in the water with, and it's super easy to fish as well. So I've put this in my top five musky lures and stuff like that, but that's just because it's super simple. Just cast, retrieve it. The other cool thing about this is you can count it down and it just has a really nice natural action. And this one's in a really cool walleye pattern as well. Definitely a go-to, especially for searching for fish because it's super easy and you can cover a lot of water. Then we've got a Medusa here. This is a mini Medusa and I believe this is the largemouth bass color. It's an old show color, definitely a sweet color, one of my favorites that they've ever created. And again, that's the mini size, so it's a little bit smaller compared to the monsters, huskies, everything like that. But it's still a good bait to catch numbers of fish on. And that's also the bait that I caught my biggest fish on is a mini Medusa. And because of that, I also have another one in here, just another sweet color. This is actually a Team Rhino Outdoors color. And this is like basically a natural sucker pattern. Same color I caught my biggest fish on. However, this one has the neon green bottom 
and if it has neon green I'm probably gonna buy it so I had to throw that in there and as you can see a lot of these are like what I like to throw is a lot of walleye colors just because I have confidence in that and it's really natural wherever you go so the last thing that we have is a couple bucktails first one we've got is a black you can't really go wrong with black for musky this is going to be a Esox assault this is a double eight black bucktail Next we've got another double eight from Esox Assault in like a natural brown color. And this one has seen many fish in its days. Then we've got a little bit smaller one. And this is for like whether it's spring and I want to throw a smaller bait or I get bored musky fishing, which is pretty easy for me. And I want to throw for pike. This twin drone is like a double six and it's really easy to throw. It's kind of fun. You get a lot more strikes from pike and stuff. And yeah, that's the gangrene color. So kind of a cool little largemouth representation or perch. And then the last thing that we have in here is the Esox Assault. This is the 109. Cool thing about this is it has a size 10 and a size 9 blade. And this is the killer corn color. Another one, like I said, a natural like walleye color. Uh, browns, white, gold. And that really represents everything, really. Whether it's a smallmouth bass, a walleye, a crappie bluegill you name it this color kind of covers it which is why i like that color so much so that is my on the go musky fishing box hope you guys enjoyed this if you did leave a thumbs up below as well as subscribe while you're down there for more we'll see you guys on the next episode